Hello you lovely people, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. My name is Kirsten and this is where I art and craft and today we're on index card a day. We're nearing the end which, for which I'm grateful. I might talk a bit about index cards for a day um, when I do, a, I will do a run through of all of them at some point after we've finished but we're still going just now. Uh, we're on day 52 today i've if you remember last week i put paper on the back of my index cards just because i was just struggling and the lines i decided were the problem the lines weren't the problem and i actually regretted doing that because i didn't have the lines and so they weren't saying index card to me any longer so this week what I've done is I've just got my roller and put paint on. I haven't even cleaned. I think I cleaned my roller twice. Um, there's another two while I was doing these. I've done more than I need so that I've got some kind of option. If you remember last week, I just randomly put them on the dates. This week I'm going to pick which one of the backgrounds I might use for each of the prompts. So let's... Um, Oh, let me show you what I did last week so you can see the other two colours I did last week, over the weekend. Um, Trivial Pursuit was the first one. Uh, and this is uh, this, this wee character carrying a slice of pie was from, I think I cut her out for the very first week when I did something with the cake. And I can't even remember what the prompt was when I did with the cake. That's what we call these, you know, the, the wee bits that go in, you call them pie. And then this is supposed to be leading up to the centre because this is the last bit of pie. And she's like, shall I eat it or shall I put it in? Oh, so that's Trivial Pursuit. The next yesterday was Cluedo. Well, it says clue, but it means Cluedo because it's Cluedo. Um, and so I know a bow and arrow isn't in the, the game, but it was a bow and arrow in the kitchen, here's the kitchen, by someone who wasn't sorry, getting down and dirty. And I used this kind of ready background just because I thought, well, it's Cluedo, it's, it's a murder, so let's have some blood in it. So today is wild card, and I'm just wondering which one to do for wild card. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe that's what I should do first. Wild card is, you know, do your own prompt. Um, so let's go through and see what grabs me. Uh, oh. Now I could, for wild card, I could actually go wild, couldn't I? There's a thought. Let's put that aside. Right, so we've got wild card and we've got a bear and we're thinking of going kind of jungly. So let's look for one of the green ones. Maybe that one. It's a bit bluey. That's a bit bluey as well, but I kind of like it even though it is a bit bluey. Now let's just go for the green one. I'm going to put these under here because they're curling a bit. Right, so how are we going to do this then? Let's cut him out. Purposely leaving that bit of blue around it just to make it stand out a bit more against this green because the green's so dark. Well, I could do it the other way up. I could do the so oh, that's maybe better. Hmm. Actually, I think I prefer it on the dark green. Right. I don't think I'm going to keep her anymore, but I might keep that for a bit. Okay, so now we're going to put the jungle this side. 
See, that's kind of jungly. I don't think I like this jungle idea actually. Do I want to do that? It's a bit kind of mm, obvious. Let me see. What shall we do? Oh, I haven't had a look to see what's in here either, have I? That's, I mean, this is mostly words, but. See, that's just made me think. The bare necessities. Wherever I wonder. I wonder if I've got anything that I could pretend was a honey jar. Let's have a look. See, this colour's kind of right, isn't it? Let's see if we can Let me see, of course, what I'd like to do is I'd like to put that normally I would put that underneath so you could still see the hand but because I don't want to see that hand I'm now stuck so let's see if I can find something else I could make a hand with hmm We need something for a hand though. We need to put this in his mouth. Right, so I quite like that. I quite like that. I need to sort out. got a problem with her hand so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this honey drip over it I'm going to put this that way hmm. Right. Might need a bigger honey drip than that. That could be one further down. Let's do a bigger honey drip. Oops, I'm taking it out of his mouth now. Put it back in his mouth. He's holding it. It's in his mouth. We need to get rid of her hand. And that's That's one drop of honey. That's another bit of honey that's hiding her hand. There we go. I'm going to stick this down. I forgot to put marks on these two 
so I'm going to put marks on these two as I put marks on this one and I'm going to start off with this one sorry if that camera had done to you then um, I'm going to start off just by putting some I've changed this from the jar into an actual honeycomb because I've decided a honeycomb made more sense than a jar so just putting marks of the honeycomb on here so I'll just put that one in there so it's almost like he's eating the the honeycomb which is actually he's a wild bear so that's what he would be doing so let's just put some kind of ripples in here as well of that honey all drips straight into this big pool of honey here so that's that but i also want to do some other marks so i'm going to just doing some dots here And are these the bees? You can decide that. So I'm quite happy with that one. That one's done. It's wild. It's on a card. It's the bare necessities. Sing softly, sing loudly. It's honey. It's, yeah. Right, this one I had actually put a bit of red there to to divide up the thing but I think we need something else on here as well and I think I'm going to use some white there we go so I'm liking that one now and what about this one what do we want this one needs something to kind of lift it a bit doesn't it it's all a bit kind of a bit dark we use this yellow. This yellow is like an almost like a highlighter yellow. So I've put my markings on these that I'd forgotten. I've highlighted the clues on this one, which has actually changed it quite incredibly. And I've put some more bits of pie on this one. But this is the one that was today. And today was wild card. And this is a card. And this is a wild animal. And that's a wild card. And then I twisted it up and decided eating a, eating a, a honey. And these are the bees. And sing softly or loudly for the bare necessities. And art is one of the bare necessities for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. I'll see you on Friday for another iCAD. Until then, you take care. Bye for now. Keep crafting. <laughs>